And Eve, you, you, you also talked about sort of the banks that are too big to fail. Do you think the European system on financial supervisors is going to ensure we're not going to have any banks that fail again? Certainly not. Uh, there will be bank failures in the future. There will be financial crisis in the future. Uh, what we try is uh, two things. One, uh, to try to prevent uh, imbalances uh, occurring uh, less often. And the second is to dampen the effect uh, of uh, imbalances. And by this, by the second thing is uh, where we try to have uh, capital surcharges uh, and to have, uh, of course, uh, if we also want the banks to continue lending, then we need even more capital uh, to, uh, to pull on them. And the more capital we ask the banks to hold, uh, the less profitable they might become. Uh, and uh, for the first thing, we have to increase simply our analytical uh, approach. But uh, let me just add that to some extent, the, di the discussion on the home host is also not solved. And if you, propagate, if you want to have a home control, that is also something like an extraterritorial uh, approach uh, uh, because you have the economic reality of the group, but the legal reality is still at in within the national borders. And I see today more and more banks which run subsidiaries like if they were branches. But they are different legal entities in different countries. And in the end, the financial responsibility rests with the national taxpayer. And that is why we still have problems to come to a final solution on resolution funds. Because how uh, can we organize the burden sharing between different ju jurisdictions? And um, this is still ongoing business, not only between continents, but even within our own continent. 